to Kinematics. This is the uh, first lecture of a series for this quarter. And uh, I wanted to bring you just some of the basic information before you get started on this online class. Now, uh, as we go through this, these are just some of the highlights. If you need to ask questions or if you need to uh, get in contact with the instructor, the instructor there are methods by which you can do that. It's all online on the web page. But today, let's just talk about the course. Uh, let's just figure out exactly what you're in for and how this process is going to work. So first of all, a quick definition of kinematics is actually the, the study of the movement within a machine or mechanism. Because machines actually perform work, as we know, and that work involves an awful lot of movement of, of parts. And so therefore, what we need to do today is to just, to, just to get into a frame of mind as to what kinematics is all about and how we're going to study this. Well, basically, our topics within the course, we'll start out with a math review. Math review will be just basically algebra and uh, trigonometry and um, a little bit of geometry. So it's not, it's not going to be anything um, basically new other than just the courses that you've already taken here at PTI. Now, the second thing is, is that because kinematics has to do with complicated devices and machines, we have to simplify them. And in order to simplify them, we have to use diagrams in order to explain how these parts interact with one another. So therefore, the second topic will be diagrams. The third topic will be displacement and position. Displacement and position deal with the movement of parts, also to explain what their range of motion is and what the spatial relationships are between all the parts within the mechanism. So we have processes by which we can look at these parts using a simple diagram and explaining mathematically what their position is and how they interact. So that was the third topic. The next, of course, is how fast do these parts move? How fast do these parts interact with one another? And so therefore what we need to do is we need to look at the uh, velocity of these parts as they relate to other parts. Also have to consider the acceleration of some of these individual parts. But basically the velocity deals with the uh, efficiency, the production of whatever the, the uh, the parts will do and so therefore we have to work on the timing and as everybody knows time equals money so therefore we have to look at the efficiency through the velocity of those parts and the last topic is the, me uh, the fundamentals of mechanisms there are basic fundamental simple machines that you've learned about the simple machines actually are uh, connected in series or connected with one another and so therefore we have to take a look at these basic principles and fundamentals of simple machines such as uh, pulleys, chain drives, cams, screw drives and looking at gear. So all of those uh, different mechanisms within the machine have to be studied for the kinematic value, not for their geometric value. In other words, we've got to look at their movement, not so much of their construction. So that part uh, will have to be probably as much as we could do now in, in this course. So now you have an idea of what kinematics is. Now you have an idea of what we're going to be studying and how we're going to do this. We're going to do this basically first uh, from a textbook that you were issued. It's this textbook right here. And the textbook is uh, fairly comprehensive. And there are some topics in this textbook that you won't be, you won't be reading. But basically, we'll probably do about two thirds of the material within this textbook. Now, you got to remember that this is a textbook that is written as a technical textbook and it's not written as a novel or written as a newspaper where you can skim it. You can't do that. 
What you have to do is you have to read every word and you have to look at every illustration and you have to look at and take time with each of these sections. Now within the, as, uh, within the, the textbook, we have uh, each chapter has various sections and these sections then you will find examples of certain problems and you'll find then applications of those examples as word problems at the end of each chapter. So it'll be wise for you to take a glance at the book, become familiar with the book, use the index um, and the table of contents, like every other book, the table of contents at the front, and so therefore you want to get familiar with the table of contents and the organization of the book. Now it's going to be your responsibility to read what is assigned to you because it's critical that you understand the information. And just to show you a couple of illustrations here, some illustrations that are in the text. And then at the end of each chapter, there are problems. And these problems also illustrate generally with a representation of whatever that machine or mechanism is. So therefore, we'll be using these problems uh, throughout the uh, course. So you should become familiar with, with where they are and how the author presents them. Okay? So be sure this book is at your side at all times.